Hi, I'm Justin from T2K, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at basic call handling on the 3CX smartphone app. I'll be running through everything using an Apple iPhone, but the Android app is almost identical, so everything you see here will be relevant. If you haven't watched our orientation video, it would be worth taking a look at that first, as it will give you an overview of the smartphone app and where everything is located. A link to that video is in the top right corner of your screen now. OK, let's dive in. We'll start on the team page where we can see all of our colleagues on the phone system. I'm going to make a call to Mr Cheerful. To do this, I'll just tap on him and you'll see that the app immediately initiates the call. Now that Mr Cheerful has answered the call, we can see details at the top of the screen, including his avatar, extension number, name and the duration of the call. Beneath this, we can now see the call control buttons. Let's start with the mute button in the bottom right corner. Tap this button and you'll see it turns blue to show it's active. Whilst in mute, I can still hear Mr Cheerful, but he won't be able to hear me. This is really handy if you need to sneeze, cough, or perhaps consult with a colleague without the other party hearing you. To unmute, tap the button again, and it will turn black. Mr Cheerful will now be able to hear me again. Next to the mute button is the hold button. Tap this, and just like the mute button, it will turn blue to show you it's active. The button will now say resume, and you'll note that in the top section, the call now shows as on hold. Whilst on hold, Mr Cheerful will be listening to hold music and neither party will be able to hear one another. To return to the call, tap the resume button. Next we have the record button. Depending on how your system has been configured, your company's policies and your own permissions, this button will allow you to start and stop or pause and resume call recording. If the button is showing in blue, this indicates the call is currently being recorded. Next, there's the video button. Tapping this allows you to convert the current call to a video call. This is only available between supported devices, such as between two smartphone apps or perhaps with a soft phone user that has a webcam attached to their computer. Permission will be required by the other party if you request a video call. In the centre is the keypad button. Pressing this will display the numeric keypad for use mid-call, for example when entering menu choices when calling a company. To go back to the call controls, you simply tap the back arrow in the bottom right. Tapping on earpiece allows you to change where your audio is routed whilst in a call. For example, if you wanted to move the call over to a Bluetooth hands-free kit or headphones, tap this button to reveal the available options. Tapping on speaker will make the call hands-free. To move the call back to the iPhone, tap the speaker button and then select iPhone. Please note there appears to be a small bug in the iOS software at the moment that shows the iPhone up twice. Just know to select the opposite of the currently selected item. The new call button allows us to make a second call either to a colleague or an outside party whilst keeping the first call on hold. To call another party, tap on new call. If you know the extension number of the person, you can simply dial it. Otherwise, tap on the magnifying glass and this will allow you to search for any of the contacts, whether they are colleagues on 3CX, people in the company directory or contacts on your mobile phone. Type in the search box to locate the person you wish to call and then tap to call them. You'll see that the first party has been put on hold and you're now connected with the second party. At the top of the screen, you can see both calls. To swap between them, simply tap on the row showing the caller on hold, like so. You'll see the order of the callers has changed to show the active call on the top of the list. The call control buttons will affect the currently active call. For example, as I'm connected here with Miss Chatterbox, if I tap the red end call button, I will end the call to her and I'll be taken back to my call with Mr Strong. However, he will be brought back to me on hold, so to start talking, I'll tap on resume. Finally, we'll look at conference. Whilst in a call, tap on the conference button and then search for another colleague or contact. When you've located them, tap to call. 
3CX will now create a conference call between all three parties and you'll see that the title has changed to conference place. Creating a conference this way is limited to three parties. If you require more than three, you can set up a scheduled conference using the web client or PWA, but we'll cover that in another tutorial. The final button is the transfer button, but as this is a fairly in-depth subject, we're going to cover that in its own video, so please do check our channel for information on that. And that wraps things up for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please click on the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you do choose to subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.